Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I am your host again today, Kevin. Um, and with me, I have Eno Eka. Um, and let me read this very impressive, yet short bio. I love how much you can cram into a few sentences about a person. Uh, Eno is a business analyst and change manager based in Calgary, Alberta. Uh, she's an award-winning career coach and speaker who has been recognized for helping more than 20,000 immigrants kickstart their professional careers in Canada. She's the founder of Business Analysis School, where she helps professionals land six-figure roles in tech. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Eno, welcome to the podcast. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Kevin. I am so happy to be here and happy new year. <laughs> happy new year. It's, I know it's, we're a week and a half or so in almost two weeks in and it just, yeah. I, it, it, it both feels brand new and also like we've been here for a while. <laughs> right. I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's start at the beginning. Uh, what prompted you to start a coaching business? What really got you into coaching as a profession, as a passion? Yeah, fantastic question. I would like to say that, you know, coaching found me. Um, I, I did, didn't, I never in my wildest dreams ever thought that I would be a coach. Um, I've always loved, you know, being the consultant and just, you know, working my consulting and traveling all around and meeting new clients and having fun and making money at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd like to give a backstory as to what brought me here. Um, so uh, when I graduated from the university, I studied accounting and started working as an accountant. And a um, couple years into the accounting role, I was looking for more. I wanted more, just kind of got boring and monotonous doing the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, so I started searching for um, new careers I could probably transition into to learn new skills and, you know, become, um, become better, a better version of me. Um, and I... I started looking for, you know, um, different careers, HR, supply chain, logistics, digital marketing, project management, business analysis. And I found the business analysis career. So basically as a business analyst, as long as you're providing value to the organization, you are uh, recommending solutions, you're driving change, um, you're collaborating with stakeholders every day, that's business analysis. So I'm like, oh, shoot, I've been doing this, you know, for years, and I didn't even know that this is actually another career path. So I said, I do my research, um, find out about found out about the trainings available, certifications available, and then back then I was in my home country, um, Nigeria, and I went for the trainings, traveled to Ghana to go write the certifications, got certified, and then started learning um, how I could transition into that career. I started that journey back in Nigeria started my transition journey, started working, um, got several offers and it was going great. And then the opportunity to move to Canada came. So scared about how I was going to do this, being that I transitioned into a new career, moving to a new country, doing so many new things, afraid. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm just going to do this. So finally I got to Canada and when I got here, people were saying, um, you know, um, you're new here. It's going to be tough to get into this industry and you want to work in tech. Like, how are you going to do it as a new immigrant? But I kind of pushed on, found people to coach me and mentor me. So that was where coaching started for me because this that was my first time of actually getting someone to actually coach me and saying, hey, this is how you do it. Follow this blueprint, right? Someone saying, these are the mistakes I've made. Don't make the same mistakes. And in six months of moving here as a new immigrant, I was able to land a six-figure role as a business analyst, which is very rare for someone hmm. who just moved countries, not having any family here and starting life all over again. So I was able to achieve this. And with the immigrant community, we're, you know, really small, you know, close-knit communities that we have with Facebook groups and WhatsApp and Telegram groups and LinkedIn groups, you know, trying to support one another. Um, you know, the news went, you know, into the air like wildfire. And people were like, how are you able to do this? We've been here for years and we were unable to actually get started in our careers. I was a manager back home. I was uh, a senior manager back home. I was a director in a big four consulting company, I did all these things. However, when I got here, I was unable to restart my professional career. I was unable to actually get a decent job. I work in the warehouse. Um, I'm a store associate at Walmart. Um, I work at Home Depot. Um, you know, I work in a mechanic shop. I want better for my life. And I'm like, wow, guys, I didn't know people actually had to struggle that much because I had a coach who helped me do this. So I started helping people after work in the evenings. We would 
have Zoom meetings, Google Meets, and I just show them how I did my resume, how I you know put up my LinkedIn profile. People have interviews. We have sessions, and I book one hour sessions with them, all for free. Telling them how to answer interview questions, what to do, things I had also learned um, on my own. So I was doing this for a while, and then. I got another job that required me to do a lot of travel. So I was traveling a lot um, all around North America. And that kind of affected the fact that I could help more people do what I was doing in the volunteering <laughs> side of things. So I started volunteering with the IIBA, helping people to get certified. So whenever I was in town, I would lead those sessions every Thursday evening, help people get certified in business analysis. And then I would host like quarterly, I would host like a webinar, where I bring another business analysis expert and we talk, and we talk about it. But it wasn't um, very consistent because I was traveling a lot and I was very busy. And uh, one day I just had a couple of people reach out to me and say, hey, we've been talking about how you've been helping other people and we want you to help us. I said, I know, but I'm really sorry. I don't have the capacity at this time. And they said, well, we want to pay you. We know you do it for free. However, we've seen the value that you offer to people. People are able to just speak with you for an hour they go for an interview and they land a six-figure job because of how you coach them within just an hour to three hours of you know you coaching them for free. But however, we want to pay you. We know that you're busy and your time is valuable. And I said, you know what? Hold that thought. Let me go think about it and see how <laughs> I can work through my schedule. And there was so much pressure from the people who wanted me to coach them. And I gave into it and I said, okay, what do you have? I'll see how I can work it out. And that's how I started with one, two, three people doing the same things every evenings or Saturdays as my time permits. And that's how we have the business analysis school today. Um, so the people asked me to coach them and, you know, more people just said, I come and say, Hey, I saw you help this person get a job. I want to do this. I want to, I want to get into and that's how we've been able to grow this to a school that now has students in over 20 countries and in all the continents. Yes, I've been able to do that in the last three plus years of doing this. So that's really um, background as to how I started coaching. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a journey. I, feel, I find that the journey has very familiar steps where yeah. there's just a, a realization that you want more for yourself, yeah. um, followed by the courage to pursue it. And yeah. then followed by that desire to help others do yeah. the same thing that you were able to do. Um, yeah. But to have it occur so so densely over such a short timeline, plus with that move halfway across the world, um, it's just, it's, I mean, it, it speaks to everything I've already known about you just in talking with you for a few minutes that this is, yeah. you are a, a fantastically ambitious and caring individual. It's, I, I, lo I love to see it. And I also really, I love, there are so many things you emphasized in your journey that I love how. There's just like the certain practical tools, like simple, like seemingly simple stuff, like how to prepare your resume to get yeah. that job you want, to yeah. move in the direction that you want to go. Things that, you know, they, they seem like common sense once you know them, but not everybody has access to that knowledge. And sure. that's really just that sort of like amplification of that knowledge and also making sure it gets to the people who need it, who are also hungry for it. I just yeah. love that um, it's aspirational and also practical at the same time. It's exactly. tools, it's details. It's like, here's the toolkit. Here's your screwdriver. Here's your hammer. We're going to teach you how to build a house and you're going to build a house for yourself. <laughs> exactly. And honestly, that's what it is. So basically when I realized that there was so much demand, I'm like, okay. And even the, the <laughs> honestly, everything I have done, it's not like, oh, I went to learn how to do it. At a point I had to learn how to be a good coach and how to run a business because mm -hmm. it became a business. <laughs> However, when I first got started, we had like three, five people. And then people says, why don't you just record, you know, why doesn't record our sessions? And then you just host it somewhere. So I said, you know what, guys, you know, there's just so much going on. So I'm just going to create a Google Drive folder, add everyone to that folder. And we're just going to add it week one, week two, week three. And before we knew it was growing out into a full course, right? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, just record it. And we can always watch the recordings. We can ask you questions, created a WhatsApp group. And then we just, you know, collaborated there. And it was basically just the people telling me, you know, do this for us. We want this. We want that. So it's basically just providing what the people wanted and helping them. And then with the program, I just realized that, hey, a lot of these people that are reaching out to me are people who are, are in the same shoes. They are probably immigrants or they're also or just people who want better in their careers. Mm -hmm. They want to transition. And as much as I'd love to say that, you know, the educational um, 
colleges and universities are great. They're great for people who are, you know, decide that they want to go back to school. However, when you're going through that transition journey, it's different from just being in the classroom. There are some, a lot of practical steps that you need to take, like the coaching aspect of really knowing how to leverage your experience and, you know, um, transforming it into what the hiring manager is looking for, how to suit certain roles, because sometimes like, back home the jobs we work at they're called some something different the things you do are called something different so knowing how a financial advisor works here compared to back home where you're called something else right so mm. those things are i think the, those nuances very little but they matter a lot you know what does a hiring manager want to hear when they're trying to hire you for x kind of role right so basically just taking my own journey and creating that blueprint and saying hey this is how i've done it this is how to rework your mindset. I had to rework my mindset first. This is how to actually leverage the skills and experience you have. Now do the same. This is how to actually achieve um, and pass certification exams. This is how I did it. This is how to redo your resume. This is how I did it. Follow my steps. This is how to redo your LinkedIn. This is what to say in the interview. Follow my steps. Hmm. When you're on the job, this is how to communicate with your stakeholders. This is how to ask your manager questions. This is how to, you know, handle a meeting. This is how to handle difficult stakeholders. This is how to handle conflict. Follow my steps. So basically just giving them that blueprint, just like you said, and, you know, follow this. And as you follow it step-by-step, step, you're going to achieve the success that you want. And we've seen that happen time and time again, all over the world, not just in Canada or in the US, but also in other countries around the world, because it's a global career is the same thing. People are the same everywhere. Right. And, you know, your soft skills will always, always matter. Um, you know, that's what's important compared to, you know, the location you're at. Every project has its nuances for sure, has its own peculiarities for sure. But when you understand, um, you know, how to handle people, how to communicate better, how to leverage the skills that you have, how to leverage the resources that are available to you, you definitely will succeed on the role. So basically, like you said, created that blueprint and saying, this is how I have done it. Now follow in these footsteps. I love that. And, and a blueprint is the perfect way to describe it because it really is just, it's this beautiful, you know, rolled up sheet of paper that you roll it out and there, there it is. There is, yes. there is the plan. And yes. I loved also that you pointed out like how certain terms or certain titles will be different in different places. And that's, there's some translation work there too, because obviously, and that's, that's one of the things I feel like makes your coaching approach so, so powerful is that you have an element of, of, of strict plan. Like here's the blueprints, here's how to do it. But you also have that flexibility to like understand how certain things will be interpreted or named or called out or represented in different ways in different cultures and parts of the world. That's yeah. also included in the plan. It's a plan yeah. that is that is clear and present and flexible at the same time. And that, exactly. that makes it powerful. That makes it truly powerful. I love yeah. it. Sorry, I get excited. I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is good stuff. Um, man, we've, this, is, this is, I could do this all day. Um, where can people find out more about you, everything you do? How can they connect with you? Where do you prefer to connect with people? Do you have a preferred social media you'd like to spend time on and like chat with people? Um, absolutely. Um, so I work with a lot of professionals all over the world. So I, I use LinkedIn a lot. Mm. Um, so, um, you can find me on LinkedIn. My name is Eno Eka on LinkedIn. Um, you can find me on any of my social personal social media pages and no Eka. Um, my, my handle across all the pages is miss pragmatic. So miss M I S S and pragmatic. And then my, the school is called business analysis school. You can find us everywhere. LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I also have a YouTube channel. Find me there in our Eka Business Analysis School as well on LinkedIn. I'm also on TikTok, trying to get, <laughs> trying to do something there. But you can always find us on, on LinkedIn um, and also on Instagram and on YouTube. We put out a lot of free training on YouTube. And then on our website, businessanalysisschool.com, when you go there, we have free trainings that you can take. And of also we have paid pro programs if you're willing to work with us to help you achieve that six figure business analysis dream. <laughs> I love it. You're, you're everywhere. 
<laughs> I am everywhere focused at the same time. It's everywhere, yeah. but it's also laser focused. I love it's it. It's laser focus. It's business analysis. That's all we talk about. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know. Thank you so much for being here. This has been a, I, I know it's like it's mid afternoon when we're recording this. I'm, I'm energized. Like I just had a fresh cup of coffee. <laughs> awesome. I know I get so, <laughs> I get so passionate about speaking about this and also just knowing that there's possibilities for everyone out there. We've helped mm-hmm. people from nurses to doctors who just who couldn't find work after immigrating, help them to transition. People working at the call centers, people working in the warehouses, people working in, um, you know, as customer service, accountants, whatever, because they basically still had experience that were transferable, mm-hmm. right? So anyone, anywhere can actually change their lives. And I've seen it happen for real. And it just gets me so excited what's, you know, when, what happens when we actually tap into, um, you know, into what we have inside of us. I couldn't have said it better myself. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't have picked a better place to, to end our conversation, at least for now. Um, yeah. Thank you, Eno, for being here. Thank you, thank everyone, you, for Kevin. listening. And take thank her you. words to heart. Anyone, <laughs> anywhere, everyone, everywhere can do yeah. it. You can do yes, it. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for having me, Kevin. Bye, everyone. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>